Well, 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 we have more car parts for Project Carnage here. Look at that, that box looks all beat up. Oh no, that's not good. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. All right, we have stuff here. We're gonna open up this box and see what is inside of this thing. And hopefully it's not all banged up. It's like 20 something degrees out here. It's really cold, but I'm gonna tell you, we are dedicated and we are gonna put this thing on the car and get ready for the weekend. So let's go. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's just dump it. Let's just do that. Don't leave this box. Get that thing out of here. All right, let's see if I can hold this camera steady. It's freezing, my hands are cold. All right, so we have an MMD splitter here that is gonna go on the car. Now, you guys have seen this. If you've watched Sting Mode's channel, then he has pretty much the same splitter, but he had a pre-production unit. And uh, it looks like, I don't know, we'll see whenever I see his car next in person, but uh, just from looking at it off the car, it definitely kind of looks like maybe they slimmed up the design a little bit so it's not doesn't come out as far but i like the shape that this thing has it reminds me of course we're gonna you know see what it looks like on the car but this general shape kind of reminds me of like a pp2 style splitter the way it comes out like this at an angle so this is my most favorite one that i've seen so far i do like the rtr stuff um, I was, I was almost about to buy that. And then this popped up on American Muscle for like 250 bucks. Use a small little 5% promo code and it was a wrap. So should be a very quick, simple install. So let's go ahead and get started. But looking at the blacks, it looks like it is a pretty close match. Um, I think this is going to be pretty sweet. You know, some of them do get really big. Like the, uh, the RTR is... Not too bad. You know, the RTR is uh, not nearly as big in person. It's kind of subtle. It's just got a different look. And uh, the Roush, if you've ever seen that in person, it's it's pretty big. And uh, anyway, I'm excited. Let's get to it. All right, so real fast, a lot of products don't come with like color manuals. And I'm gonna say that this one does, which is really nice. It looks like uh, it's uh, pretty detailed. So I've never done, I don't usually do like, you know, arrow stuff and I kind of just leave the cars like they are. I've never done like a splitter install, you know, anything like that. The 18 that I had before, never messed with it, but this looks pretty cool. Comes with some extra hardware here um, that was not inside of the bag. So hopefully it's all there. But uh, yeah, I'll tell you that the quality of this thing, hopefully you guys can see this. Here's what the bottom looks like. And uh, it looks like it's, Pretty well made, very, very sturdy. It's not flimsy at all. And uh, should be able to just snap in place pretty easy. But I was a little skeptical, you know, it was a little cheaper of a splitter, but this so far looks really, really cool. And I think, I think it's gonna look really good. All right, we got the car in the air. Got enough room so we can get some good camera angles there. I do need to get some lighting, some better lighting for the garage here. Maybe when it gets like warmer, we'll do like white on the walls or something like that. Something that uh, reflects a little bit more light, but you know, and then uh, probably get some shop lights too so that I can angle up underneath, you know, in the dark areas. But anyway, here we go. All right, so the first steps are you need to take out these push pins. So you got them all along there. Then you're gonna get a seven millimeter bolt and then you can take out all these screws that are all around the car, all around, there's a ton of them, all underneath the belly pan, all of that. So this whole thing is gonna basically come down 
and then there's other screws that are up inside of the splitter there and then it will come out of the car pretty simple so let's get started with that first oh man my hands are freezing the things that we do for youtube Okie dokie, smoky. All right guys, I'm using a power tool for this, but I've got it on the lowest setting, so that's what I recommend. And these are gonna be seven, seven millimeter. There's a bunch of them. Don't lose them. Oh my gosh. I'm dropping things. Also while I'm under here, I want to personally thank each and every one of you guys that continues to come back and watch these videos that always smashes that thumbs up button and the guys that come here they subscribe they turn the bell on the, the dedicated crowd um thank you so very much because honestly you made this possible i paid you know i pay for all this stuff pretty much out of pocket um but the ad revenue you know pretty much paid for this so this is really really cool that youtube is is turning into something and i want to say Thank you so much for that, and then uh, definitely continue to uh, like these videos and uh, subscribe away. So now we got a few down and about 50 more to go. All right. Dark, but these bolts right here in front of me, these guys here, which are eight millimeter, I believe. Find out in a second. Uh, there's a bunch of them. Take those all out, and we should be able to pull this thing up. Should be easy. All right, confirm those bolts are seven millimeter as well. All right, you're not gonna be able to really see up here. Sorry to have a flashlight, but you have three push pins alongside there. And then the rest of this is all free to come out. So three there and then over here on this side towards the edge back here, three more. You can kind of see them. There we go. Starting to get a little bit of light. All right, everything is separated. You should be able to just Pull it out, just like that. Okay, so what I wanna show you guys now, and you'll probably never see this anywhere else, I thought that'd be really cool, is we're gonna measure how big these things are. Some of you might care, some of you might not, but we're gonna be detailed nonetheless. Let's give this a shot. I'm just gonna kinda of eyeball it so that sticks out about uh, an inch and a half, thereabout. And then right from the center, this is about, let me get right there, a little more than two and a half, about two and a half inches there. So it will stick out another inch or so, and then quite significantly on the, on the corners there, um, which I really, really like. So this is not gonna be something that's a thousand feet long, it's a, just another inch. And uh, I think it's gonna look awesome. Okay, now what needs to happen is on your OEM, you have these black, or I'm sorry, silver clips here, and there's a bunch of them. You want to take those out, and they're going to transfer over there on those holes. Pretty self-explanatory, but uh, definitely needs to happen, so let's go ahead and do that. So I got a small little pick, and then it should be easy. Just a bunch of these. All right, let's put it on the car. It should slide right in. Oh man, that looks really good so far. Really, really good. So without bolting anything down right now, I can already tell you that everything is going to be, once it's bolted up, an OEM fit and finish. This looks really cool. Very, very impressed so far. That looks aggressive as hell. Okay, so now what we need to do is just go in complete reverse order and that will wrap things up. So once we put the car on the ground, obviously we're going to get a better look at this. Uh, I think it looks killer so far. Look at that, man. This is going to be like the next thing, maybe. We'll see. All right, guys, we are done. Sorry about my messy garage and the lack of light. We are losing it overcast and it's still freezing cold, but... This is how it looks. I personally think this thing looks incredible, incredible. So 
you guys know that I'm picky, especially with stuff like this, air, you know, aero mods, uh, any, anything else. I thought that the car looked fantastic the way that it was stock, uh, but this is just over the top here. Um, I don't think that it's too long. You know, we still have plenty of clearance for the ground until we are lowered. We need to do that. But this thing is awesome. It's not totally crazy enormous, which I like, but I like the design here. I like how it comes out here. And I'm really trying to showcase this on camera as best I can, uh, given the light and everything, but it looks great. I think that the car should have come this way from the factory personally. <laughs> I'm like shivering out here, it's freezing. Um, but looks really, really good. Uh, we're gonna do a follow-up video. You'll see this again all over um, the channel, obviously, but uh, you know, we'll get some better lighting. So again, we're gonna follow up and uh, put this thing in the direct sunlight once we get some better weather. But this is your install video and how everything looks. I give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I've never owned anything from MMD before. It's like, I think it's like the brand of like American Muscle, but for 250 bucks, I think this looks killer. Um, I, you know, as said, really thought about the RTR lip, but everybody is doing the same thing and this is different and we want this car to look different and look the part and be a little bit more sinister and fit the name Carnage. And I think that this is an incredible start and, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think about the hood vents. Um, might need to do something with those soon. But yeah, we never, definitely need to lower the car. And uh, we are just getting started, guys. So keep it here. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Share the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys later.